Oh, how I love putting grease in this thing. Just, it's so fun and mess free. It just, I enjoy it. But it's something that's got to be done. So this is getting a good, a good helping of grease. Um, for anybody that wants to uh, say that I'm over greasing, uh, bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I don't see anywheres where I'm over greasing. Okay, so I think it's uh, which side is it? Um, I think it's yeah, that one. I can't get my shoulders up in there, so. You know what? It just don't get grease because if I can't get myself up in there, then like a such like a this, then that other one over there just don't get grease because I can't get up in here like this, and you definitely can't get in through the back because of how close I get everything. This is just one of those tools that uh, you don't really want to buy or really want to work on. At least I don't because it sucks. Again, why can't you put grease fittings on this darn thing in a grease bag? It'd make things easier to grease. Why? You can't even freaking see the darn thing. It's like, really? They could have just made a bracket, come out here, and oh, let's put it right here. You know, easy to see. No, we got to freaking make it aggravating for the farmer to see how many acres this thing's planted. I hate grease in this thing. I just, it's not easy. So we got the grain drill in the shop here. Uh, this John Deere 1590. Just got done uh, washing it. What? Uh, Friday and uh, I greased everything. Um, you can see the blue grease. I know, why not use New Holland grease on a, on a John, piece of John Deere equipment. But everything has gotten a good, a good dose of grease um, so that it doesn't wear out. What I got to, what I got to do is grease, okay, is grease. The third, the third fitting, and oh, I see how that guy is. He's a twisty. Nope. Oh, I see how it is. You gotta, you gotta push down on that little guy, and then there is a third grease fitting that that you're supposed supposed to grease on this thing oh, and it looks like it might be yep there it is right there the third grease fitting and you would uh, you would come in down through here to grease it so okay and then we'll readjust that back in the spring that lever now I don't know I Highly doubt it that there is that they would put an adjustment. Oh, are you kidding me? 
you mean to tell me that there's an adjustment on this for the hay side of this drill? Oh, yep, every freaking one of them. Really? Good grief. And you can't even get your way down and through there because it's just, you ain't got no room to do nothing. Oh boy. This is just one of those, one of those things where you just want to uh, just question yourself as to why you put so much grease on this thing that uh, okay, should be able to get that now. Ah, uh, put so much grease on this thing as to why you covered in grease when you go to adjust this thing. Well, it all goes back to the visual, the visual things. Oh gosh darn it. Um, because I can't tell when, you know, something's taking grease, I would rather, I would rather see the grease come out like I'm doing there. Um, instead of, uh, you know, not knowing that it didn't get grease. So that's why I do what I do, what I do, what I do when I do what I do. So I gotta go down through here, flip all these levers so I can get to the grease fittings underneath, like I showed you guys. There's a lever there, and all the rest of them got levers. Then you can watch me cuss and swear at uh, doing those up at the front there. Ugh. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to uh, save up my money. Yep, I'm gonna save up my bills, my money, not my bills. And uh, I'm going to buy I'm gonna buy me a Milwaukee grease gun. Um, so that I can uh, I can grease this thing a lot better. And the reason for that, for the Milwaukee, is they have they have the grease counter. I'm looking at this completely bass acid. Oh, you stupid gosh darn. And if I had the grease counter on it, I could, uh, I could just set it to like whatever I wanted for the pumps. And it will, uh, oh, come on. Nope. Wrong way. Gosh, don't. Yeah. Shit. Oh, it's not a piece of shit. It's, a, it's an easy thing to work on, they say. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, it's easy to say. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so it's not a little guy like that. Problem is, you try and look at this stuff backwards. You never know. You never know just what the heck, how many pumps are. Whatever you're putting in it. Mm. 
Okay, so I'm at the ones here where you can't even, you can't even sit up or do anything. And because your shoulders just end up hitting the darn thing. Oh yeah. Maybe like mm, put that back there. Mm. Roll my way back underneath this thing. <sighs> oh. Mm. Nope. Still ain't gonna work. Ouch. Grr. Is that just me? Or does anybody else have problems greasing stuff? Uh huh. I don't know what you guys have seen, if anything. I don't know. But what I do know is you need to frickin'. And what I do know is ugh, you need to frickin' put this thing up on some blocks or something when it comes time to grease this thing because there just there just isn't a good way come on there just isn't a good way to get yourself in here to grease all these levers and I get this thing Come here, you. And it's not like you could sit up at all. Well, a little bit. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna say that. Oh, that that's a grease. Just roll this damn thing over me and end it while you still can. I guess I will slide my way. Uh oh, I'm s maybe. Nope. Crap. Urgh. We're putting the damn thing up on blocks next year because this just sucks. There's no good way. <sighs> Shit. Now I lost count already. Gosh darn it. <sighs> now I understand why people drink. <sighs> so the next thing to do is to cr well, I gotta open this bin is the stupid thing what was it two weeks ago or so no last week when it was real hot out the darn bin heated up so now I get to go up there with a stick and try and poke down all the feed Yep, it's all to, it's all to the one side. So I gotta figure out how to do this without losing you guys. There. And then, where's my stick? because of the the live wires that are oh, come on plus my balance just absolutely freaking sucks to the end yeah I'm like 
freaking out right now. Where the heck did that mold come from? Daggone. There's something interesting you guys have never seen before is uh, my grandfather had made those ramps. Uh, he made them specifically for uh, back in hay wagons on the b back in two flat wagons on themselves to uh, make more storage space that way um uh we used to use those ramps to uh unload the generator that we had have and uh any other wheeled equipment basically well when my sister and i were in 4-h we would use these to load and unload stuff out of the trailer um so we did like the the blowers the uh tack box we had and uh oh the generator and whatever whatever other wheeled equipment needed to come out of that trailer and or go in went on these ramps i mean these things these things are pretty heavy duty uh like i said i think i said it earlier they were made grandpa made these I don't know if he made them or he bought them like that somewhere, but uh, to back those two flat wagons on uh, each other to make more floor space for winter time, you could back one wagon what right up on top of the other one. Uh, just like this flat wagon here, we had actually I think three or four of them. We sold. The other three and kept this one for loading straw and stuff to go over across the road for the straw box we got rid of those wagons because nobody wanted to work it was hard to find help to stack wagons let alone unload them and still nobody wants to help with unloading wagons today in today's uh age and generation Hello guys, what you think you're doing? Okay, bye bye.